All right, and welcome to the Metal Show. I am your host, Slayer's God, because it was thanks for three years, bringing you all the best in underground metal that I can find. And for this show, I'm going to basically showcase, like I said, just nothing but really underground metal bands, whether it be death metal, black metal, thrash metal, doom metal, speed metal, whatever. As long as it's metal, and as long as it kicks ass. Now, as you guys know, I was trying to do the Black Metal Show for the fourth time this, but it just didn't work out. So I was going to start the Metal Show because there's a lot of kick-ass stuff in the underground metal scene. And for the show, if I can get an interview with bands, I will. I'll try to do it. If not, if not, I'll just showcase you more CDs and give you more links on more stuff to go look at, more stuff to listen to, more stuff to buy. So anyways, for this episode... I do have an interview with Dark Corpse for this episode, and I will be show, showing you one CD for this time. So without further ado, let's go check out the interview with Dark Corpse, and stay tuned for more of the Metal Show. Alright, and this is the interview that I had promised you guys for the first ever episode of the Metal Show. Now, I, as you know, it's the first interview for the first show. So, without further ado, I have none other than the great Crawl and Morax from Dark Corpse. First of all, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, for being a part of this, uh, being a part of the show for me, and doing this interview for me. Thank you for having us here. Uh, so, tell everyone out there uh, a little bit about Dark Corpse. You know, tell me, tell us a little bit, tell them out there. You know, people out there who don't know who you who you are. Dark Horse, an effigy that was formed to bring back the true essence of black metal, the true essence of a punk rock like feeling where everything is in your face, everything is dirty, there's nothing polished, there's no thrills, there is nothing happy and nothing melodic about this, there's no keyboard, no thrill, fill, invading bullshit. We are completely natural in what we do, and a live show, if you were to see one, is may, possibly one of the most intense you may ever see in your life, and I will guarantee that, with what I do, and what the band does. That is great, you know, it really is, glad to hear that about you guys, you know, you know, so I hear a lot about you guys, you know, from who went underground, Talking about Dark Corpse, and as you said, your show, they said it's fucking insane. Heard you broke a fucking window at a bar or something. That's that's insane, dude. That's insane. So, you know, to, as uh, can you please elaborate a little more about your about your live show? You know, it's, I just told these guys out there, you know, about you breaking a window live. I mean, that's straight up punk rock. You know. Well, we have the punk essence. Uh, we do not. Feel that metal, especially black metal, should be pretty, polished, happy. There's no reason for that to fit in black metal <clears throat> and the music that we make. Our shows are intense and they're going to be wild, and we want to make sure that every show we do, there's some form of form of intensity. Sounds fucking awesome, dude. Hey. So, how do you, just a quick question for you. Uh, how do you feel about the underground here in, here in Japan? I mean, so know you guys, you know, we're all here in Japan. You know, how do you feel about the local underground, underground scene here in, you know, as far as Japan goes? Well, as far as the metal genre, it's a great area to be in Japan. But my only chagrin is that there's not enough bands like us. There is enough black metal that goes around this area. It's a very obscure genre, and we're trying to prevent that in a way. We don't mind being underground. We don't mind staying underground. We don't give a fuck about anybody's praise, but we still want a solid show. And there's a lot of bands that are way too polished nowadays. Way too polished. And in a way that 
takes away the spirit of what metal really was and how metal began. And that's my only complaint. The rest of the, I mean, the music is great. The music is, but there's a lot of spirit that could be gained with being, bringing the primitive back into their music. I like that. So, who are some of your favorite bands in the scene right now? Who are some of your favorites? Well, unfortunately, with Japan, there's not enough black metal bands. My favorites, I would say, <coughs> as far as black metal in Japan, would be Fenrisolf and Frahadest Pit. Those are the best bands right now. Those are the bands that I see carrying the force of black metal in the future. Oh, yeah. I just... Yeah, the band, the band, both those bands are fucking amazing. So, so tell us a little about your, um, about Dark Horse, Dark Horse's influences. Go back to you guys. Well, our influences, like, differ. We can be influenced off of anything such as dissection to Inquisition, to bands such as the story of 666, Perverser, Niflheim, Watain. Impaled Nazarene, Bestial Mockery. We are very, very into all these bands, and we take all the elements that we believe are worthy to make music. We don't just write something together to sound cool. We don't write some shit to sell records. We don't give a fuck about record sales. We don't give a fuck about us and Groupies, we don't give a fuck about any of them, but we're doing this for ourselves, and that's the main thing that matters. It's to, it's to fill the dark voids that we have within ourselves. That is what Dark Horse is existing for. There you go. Damn, that's fucking amazing. Alright, so, um, yeah, so, um, so what's the, um, what's, uh, what's up with Dark Horse next? What do you got? What do you got planned? You got an album coming out? I know you guys, you guys have an amazing demo out there, you know. Um, what's what's next in the work of Dark Horse? There's a lot that we have planned, but <clears throat> we won't mention anything now. If you had the balls to check us out, then check us out. If not, I don't give a shit. I'm not going to promise anything. We don't give a shit. It's all about, like I said, Doing the dark void within ourselves. It may be talk of albums, demos, splits, but we're not going to promise anything because it matters to ourselves more than anybody else out there. Well, that's awesome. Well, I like to thank both of you guys for being here, taking time to show up on my, you know, show the first episode of the metal show for you guys out there um definitely and uh stay tuned for more because hopefully i should have more interviews with you guys for you guys out there in youtube in youtube land so till next time fucking keep it metal motherfuckers yeah. grab your fucking beers get your horns and Get ready for more of the metal show. <clears throat> Alright, and welcome back. Welcome back to the metal show. Hope you guys enjoyed the interview. And for all the stuff right here, yes, I'll be giving links down the bottom to everywhere where you can check out both of the bands. Now, this band actually just played with Dark Corps, actually, last Saturday. They played with them. And great death metal band. What? A death thrash, I guess you will call it. But the band is called Goats, Coats, Coats. Right, there's the CD cover. Are you guys looking at it like it doesn't look too metal or it looks like I don't know, you know? I know you guys can't even read that, but yes, yeah, actually, the band name says it says Goats, Coats, Coats. If you look on the very bottom, right there, it does. I can't read it. But anyway, buy the album, you'll be able to see it. But anyway, it's just great, great. Great death metal. It's great death metal. The bass player is insane. 
They play insane. Here I'll show you the back, show you a picture of them. In case you guys can't know. If you guys don't know. Stop. Kind of familiar, right? Just probably see me. Can't even say that well. But anyway, if you look them up, usually the basis looks very familiar. It's from another band, another Japanese death metal band, called Defile. So for any of you guys there who know about death metal and know about Japanese death metal and know about Defile, you've already heard this guy. But you haven't heard him like this. He rips it up. And I've seen these guys play quite a few times, and every single time it's an amazing, amazing show. The CD is amazing from start to finish. You don't want to skip a single track on this CD. You want to just toss it straight up straight up in your CD player, press start, let it go. Great CD to rock out to anytime. I'm being serious, anytime. And I'll be giving you links. Like I said, they're a Death Thrash fan. So go check them out. Even if you don't like that style of music too, too much, you may like the music, trust me. And all the whole city is and isn't Japanese, so you got to bear with that. So you probably don't understand what they're saying unless you go physically go look it up. So, but anyways, highly recommend take up this album, Ghost Ghost Ghost, take it up, see what it looks like, take it up. Now, I will find you. I'll find you a link if I can't find somewhere. I'll give you some kind of link to buy the album, but. Buy this album, you will not regret it. And this is the very first episode of the Metal Show. Hope you guys liked it. I'm working on an actual brand new intro for the show. So for right now, you have to bear with me for this. And the audio, sorry, I'm, I'm going to be working on getting the audio fixed too. I know some crackling going on. I checked out the video. And yeah. So, anyways, as always, keep it metal, motherfuckers. Stay tuned for more from the Metal Show, and I will try to bring you as many as I can. So, keep the metal, and stay tuned for more.